Now if I was asked to find the area of the circle, I would go up here to inspect and click on the area button. But we're seeing that's not highlighting and so I can't select it. And this is why we need to lock to sketch planes. So let's go ahead and draw this and we'll spin this around and let's look at it front on from the front view. I'm going to go home and I see I've got a rectangle there. And again, I want to make sure I lock to this XZ plane. And if you have trouble identifying that, you can always turn on the base reference planes and just lock to that reference plane there. And then we'll go to our sketch view. And I'll turn off the base reference planes so I don't see those lines. So I go to rectangle and I'm going to use uh, the center here to draw this rectangle. So I draw the rectangle and I see that this is 150. So I'll type in 150 and my line down here horizontal is 100. Now I simply draw a line from the bottom corner to the midpoint and if you like, you can also turn on your relationship handles to make sure you're in the right place. And then I'm going to go draw a circle. And I need that circle to be tangent to the triangle, to this baseline here. And that looks exactly the same, and so I'm ready to go now. Let me just go turn off my relationship handles, and I'll go to Inspect. And I notice that the area button is live. And so I can go on select area, select in the circle, and it comes back and tells me the exact area. And it's 40, 80.1 millimeters squared. So why was the area button grayed out when we looked at this initially? If I go and turn off this lock, and I'm not on the sketch anymore, and I go back, I see the area is grayed out. So I need to make sure my sketch is active. And another way to do that is to put, go over here in the feature tree. And I'm just going to go home here and hit select. If I expand on that and touch on the sketch, I can right mouse click on this sketch and say lock to the sketch plane. And when I say lock to the sketch plane, it turns the lock on. And so now when I go back to inspect, I see that the area is active. Now, what if I was asked to find the length of uh, this line or this V shape? If I went up here to total length, obviously we know this line is 100. So if I touch on that, and right now it says the length is 0. If I touch on the line, it says it's 100. And I could hit Escape to get out of that request, go back to total length. If I touch on the V shape, I'll notice the total length is 316.23 millimeters.